The Worcester County Business Meeting is in a committee of the whole to discuss to discuss the business of site selection for Worcester County 76. There has been one nomination, which is the Utah 2024 committee previously mentioned. My name is Martin Pine, he, him pronouns, you can address me as Mr. Chairman, etc. Uh, so is there discussion on the uh, on the site selection business? Uh, chair, rec chair recognizes Linda Robinette. Oh, it's exercise. I was going to defend Utah. I didn't realize they had not uh, done a technicality I'm not quite clear on. But that isn't the issue. They seem to have a hotel and a plan. So Westercon would happen. It would fail. Uh, the other thing, I'm going to defend them in as much as they have little to no control over the politics of their state. And I've been hosted by a variety of conventions, everything from the Parliament of World Religions, the uh, General Assembly of the Unitarian Church, and WesterCon, and found Utah to be a very acceptable host. And I did not experience anything I thought was oppressive or rude or um, you could get alcohol, in other words. <laughs> Thank you. Is there further discussion? Right. Chair recognizes Kent Blum. Thank you. I don't really care very much whether we go to Utah, uh, but I think that there's a lot of evidence that Westercon doesn't really have a justification for continuing. And I think that one of the ways for this to stop continuing is for us not to select ineligible uh, sites and for those people who are not familiar with Westercon bylaws, we require a nonprofit corporation to, because we've had bad experiences with for-profit corporations running Westercon in the past. Therefore, lack of a, of a nonprofit sponsor is significant. But mostly I think the problem is that Westercon is kind of shrinking out of existence and trying to force us to find somebody uh, repeatedly uh, to, who, who, who can't get their act together far enough in advance to make a filing um, is, is just evidence that we shouldn't be doing this. So I suggest that we do not select uh, anyone, in particular Utah. Chair recognizes Rick Velcher. Rick Kowalczyk, he again. I think that um, the, the, or the 58 voters who voted for Utah shows there's an interest in West Con. My apologies, the echo is horrible. Um, I, my understanding, and perhaps I would, can, may I yield? My understanding is that Utah is, try, is plans to form a nonprofit and forming a nonprofit is not trivial. So I, I think that's a red herring. They also approached a number of nonprofits, um, and none of them were able to uh, come together in time. So I really think that's a red herring. Thank you. Chair recognizes the member in, in the front. I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. My name is Linnea Thompson. And um, I guess I have a further question about the nonprofit thing, because I, I agree that it's very important that it be a nonprofit. And I kind of heard in Utah's Q&A yesterday they were looking into forming some sort of LLC situation instead, which definitely concerns me. So is there any way we can have like a committee hold this in trust for the bid for a set amount of time to give them a chance to give that act together or something? Because I don't feel comfortable awarding it to somebody other than a nonprofit. Chair recognizes Lisa Hayes. I would like to call, oh, sorry, I would like to call for a name, Lisa Hayes, her. When Kevin and I were awarded as a committee, 
to pick where we're going to Westercon. We had no backing whatsoever. This meeting can pick anybody. They could even pick me and Kevin to do it again. If you want, me and Kevin can stand as a committee and say, vote for us, and then we'll turn it over to Utah. But to save time, I want to call the vote a preliminary straw vote to see how many people are interested in turning it over to Utah and believing in them to do the right thing and fill out all the right paperwork. I second the motion. Is, is there objection to right now having a straw vote on whether or not we want to award the Western County Utah? Yes. That's what Say, seeing and hearing none. Uh, no, she, was object, okay. she was objecting to the motion for, for straw vote, I believe. For what purpose? Well, I was hoping to do with Kevin my probably your procedure because I haven't done enough coffee. Because seeing and hearing from Utah didn't want to say yes, we're trying to get you. Microphone, please. What I was trying to do, and I acknowledge it may not be the appropriate procedural time to do it because I am too tired, was to see if we could get someone from the Utah bid to affirm that their intent is to form a nonprofit. Because I think that would inform this. And are you, are you yielding to a member from the Utah bid for that purpose? Uh, Ms. Hayes has the floor. Do you yield or do you yield no, to the No. I wish to go for a vote or not a vote. It's not a permanent vote. I wish to call for a vote. Okay. We have, okay. It's a, it's a non debatable motion to for a vote, for a straw vote. If you are, this is, and we will continue discussion after we hold the vote, this is not a motion to ad adopt or to rise in report. If you are currently in favor of awarding the Western Confed to Utah, please raise your hand. If you are opposed to awarding the Western Confed to Utah, please raise your hand. Thank you. Uh, the, mem the member, I'm sorry, I don't know your name in red. Uh, oh, me? Yes. Oh. Sandra Manning, sorry. Whatever uh, pronoun you want to use, I don't care. Um, remember one thing, we're coming out of COVID. There are still places in this country that have some very strict rules. Uh, due to COVID, a lot of things have closed down, including offices where you might register this, that, or the other thing, and they're just now opening up in some places of the country. I think it's premature to suggest we get rid of Westercon simply because we are coming out of COVID with all the things that happened. Chair, can I just have assembly? Chair wishes to remind members that they will not be recognized if they rise while another person is still speaking. Mr. Chair, I agree that it would be good to hear what the intentions of the Utah Committee would, and without it, and would like to yield to Mr. Galway to explain what the committee's intentions regarding getting a nonprofit organization of some sort is. Thank you. I recognize all these comments is very valid. Oh, my name is Charles Galway, and I'm represent Utah in committee. I did approach about five or so um, possible spike con is folded, uh, conduit is folded, life universe and everything is being currently represented by an LLC. And when I talked to Dave Gary, he says he wants to switch that over to a, like a 501c3, but he hasn't done that yet. Um, talk to the Utah League of Utah Writers, they're interested, but in, in that case, it's something like a 501c3 and they need to go through their board. And I realized that I couldn't write something or go through a board. Somebody on the East Coast suggested an East Coast uh, support. And so these are all possibilities that either did or did not exist. <laughs> and the time to put either the negotiations together or to incorporate on our own would have negated the time involved in putting together the bid. I had to choose one or the other basically because the time I had left myself when I decided the bid was short and 
and I'm sorry about some politics that have been going on. I recognize your problem when I started the bid. This wasn't a problem, and then it was a problem, and then Utah reversed the decision for temporary, like three weeks, on that political issue. And I know our trustee, and you know, our treasurer, worked for the Utah Pride organization, uh, which was well attended this year. And yes, we get alcohol. <laughs> and yes, we have problems with conservatism. I'd like to in our state. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd like to ask uh, a yes-no question, if it's possible, of uh, Mr. Galway. Mr. Galway, if your committee is selected, would your committee, is, does your committee intend to form or become affiliated with a recognized nonprofit organization within the earliest opportunity? Yes or no? Yes. Thank you. I yield. Thank you. Sir, recognizes Andy Tremblay. Andy Tremblay, he, him. Uh, one of the guys who precipitated the last time this happened. Because the straw poll looked like there would be a conclusive result in making a decision. I move that the committee reprise and report. Uh, is, the, is the member moving that the committee that the committee adopt a recommendation to adopt a recommendation to appoint the Utah 2024 committee as the Westercom 76 committee and report the same to the to the assembly? Uh, yes. Second. We have a second. Yep. No, not yet. Is there Seth Breitbart? Seth Breitbart, he, him, himself, his, his. Based on the results from the straw vote, it seems that there will be well over three quarters in favor. Is there a further? Ask for anybody who wants to Is anybody against, is anybody, does anyone wish to speak against the motion? Seeing and hearing none, is, does anybody else want to speak in favor of the motion? Seeing and hearing none, the question occurs on the motion to adopt the recommendation of, of to adopt the recommendation of the Utah 2024 committee as the Westercom 76 site and rise and report the same back to the main business meeting. If you are in favor of this motion, please raise your hand. Thank you. If you are opposed to this motion, please raise your hand. The motion passes many to three. Accordingly, the committee rises. 